Today, I want to talk about uh, nice processes in the Linux system. The nice processes are processes that give their share of the CPU to other processes. How gentlemen of them, you know? And it's interesting because when you start a program, a process, you know, out of your executable, you can label it with a nice value. And this value is between minus 20 up until 19. And the, the positive value, the more positive the value, the lower the priority. It's the reverse, actually, right? So, and, and the lower value of now, it's the higher the priority. And that is one parameter that influence the whole priority of the process. There are other priorities, other metrics that the, you know, the, the operating system takes into consideration, you know, to schedule a process, you know, whether it's uh, first in, first out or round robin. But nice value is one of them. So how about we explore nice processes? Let's jump into it. Here I am in my Raspberry Pi, with this, which is a one gig four core processing uh, machine. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a process. And, and that process is a very CPU intensive process. Right? And we're going to see that it takes it takes the whole core by itself. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and run that process. A dot out is the process here. And right? And when I run it, I'm going to send it to the background. That's how you send the things to the background so that it doesn't occupy my precious, precious terminal. We got process ID 19149. Do top again. And you can notice that we're using 100% of one of the cores. That is a total of 25% of user space uh, process because I have four cores. Sweet. And that's my command. That's my... Uh, Process ID, sweet. Look at this, the value of nice by default is zero, which is like, hey, you, um, treat me like a normal, regular, good old process. And this is the priority that is generated based on that. Yeah? You can notice that some, some values, there are some very high priority, like minus 20 is the highest priority to some processes assigned by the kernel probably, root, right? And uh, you can see that some priorities are 20, some priorities are RT, which stands for real time. Those guys, those puppies, you know, trumps everything else. It's like, it will starve any other. These are the most selfish processes in Linux system, as opposed to the nice processes that, uh, that we're gonna explore now. So now what I'm gonna do is like, I wanna re-nice my process. You know, it's like, okay, I, I know I'm hungry but there are other people starving, right? And this process says, you know what, I'm a nice guy. I want to give the CPU time to other people. So how do we do that? We're going to increase the value of nice, which by default lowers the priority of this process. So a process is this, let's copy it. And the command to label is called the re-nice because there is a command called nice that you can actually run to start a program with a specific nice value. But if you actually, you know, forgot or you want to do it later, you can do it this way. So I'm going to make my process uh, the, the lowest priority, which is 19. And then you do dash P, the process ID. And just like that, old priority is 0, new priority is 19, labeled correctly. Now, I want you to pay attention to what happens here. Yeah? Suddenly, my process is now still 100% use CPU because no other processes need the cpu so it's like okay since everybody's eating i am i okay i can start eating what a nice guy right so nice value of 19 okay that's the lowest and the priority is 39 again the higher the lower right so but look at this that's interesting that, that that's something i just never knew before so this is the total process apparently the total processing of the user space does not count nice processes Right, so that's why it's still it's marked as zero. But look at this. Remember in the, in the in the previous video, I talked about the nice values here. The nice value here is the amount of CPU time spent executing nice processes. How much of the time of the CPU time did we spend on you know on those gentleman processes? We spent twenty five percent of the CPU. That means a whole core. Right. So now that's beautiful. That is absolutely amazing. 
But let's actually see the generosity of this process compared to other processes. So how do we do that? I am going to spin up uh, four more processes. Let's make them three, four, right? Three more CPU intensive processes. Another one, another one. So we have three plus the, the nice one. We have four. That means that we are essentially occupied the whole process, right? So if we take a look now, the entire four CPU, four core, sorry, four core in one single processes. And we're looking at almost like a 200, 100% of the CPU. But look at that, 25 and 75, right? And again, the nice process still taking the whole core for itself because there are three other core for those hungry three other CPU intensive operations, right? But what happened? If another hungry uh, person joins uh, the chat, another hungry child joined. So look at this. All of a sudden, the gentleman process, see, this is our guy. Look how nice this guy is. It's just like, you know what? There is, there is a starving people in the world. You go ahead. I will just take 1%. That is... You know, that's the most gentleman thing you can ever see in a, in a Linux system. That is really nice, right? So now we have this nice value, you know, and you can see that it's not taking anything. And you can also measure that by the nice value. 99% of the CPU is taken by higher priority, like higher with an ER priority processes. You know? Well, the nice guy just falling into the, you know, to the sidelines but then you know unfortunately not everybody stays nice you know this guy all of a sudden become greedy this guy you know uh he saw all the money he saw all the wealth he can get and he got, got a little bit greedy and he said oh, you know what i'm no longer nice i want to be the highest priority so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it minus 20 priority right so i'm gonna increase the priority of that gentleman process because he's like you know what i'm, I'm still i'm hungry i still need to eat right but look at this we cannot do that you can lower your priority in the linux system but you cannot increase it right that's because this this becomes an administrator task but thank god we have the sudo command, you know, sudo, make me a sandwich. And all of a sudden, everything is good. Yeah, now it's good. Now we did increase the priority. And all of a sudden, that nice guy is no longer nice. He's now starving, or they are starving other processes. Okay. And you can see now, that nice value is no longer counting because remember this is only counting really nice processes those processes are anything with a positive value eh? and we don't we don't have any nice processes anymore right this word is a you know this word is cruel no more nice processes so yeah that's what i wanted to talk about this is absolutely amazing i love this stuff uh how, how are you gonna uh, is it is it is this uh, is this something you're gonna use i don't know but i just enjoyed doing this stuff and as i was like playing with this nice value which was which is literally last week i didn't know what this is you know but as i explore the fundamentals of operating systems i'm trying to understand all this stuff i'm just playing with everything life is play just enjoy life you know it's just, you don't have to have a reason for anything like that's just uh, you know stops you from wondering you know, keep playing guys and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Gonna see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,